Somehow the Bush administration would have the foresight to be on Cipro six weeks prior to the attacks. How convenient. An attack traced back to U.S. government facilities and the president and his staff happen to be taking the antidote before it's even in the mail. Judicial Watch would file suit against the administration for its actions. Well, this is another good example of how certain people consider themselves to be above the rest of us. On <clears throat> September 11th, I think it'll come as a shock to a lot of people, but it's been reported by the New York Times and other major news organizations and confirmed by the White House. The President's office and Vice President's office went on Cipro, the antibiotic that was used to combat uh, anthrax. The White House went on Cipro. It must have known that either an attack was underway or was imminent. It shows you that some people in this country are less than equal and are not treated like the political elite. So and on the morning of 9-11, just as the attacks were happening, Howard instructed the entire White House staff to go on Cipro, the anti-anthrax drug. In addition to being managing director for Kroll, Jerome Hauer was the national security advisor with the National Institute of Health, which managed the government response to the anthrax attacks shortly after 9-11. On the day of 9-11, Hauer advised the White House to start taking Cipro, an antibiotic effective against anthrax. And then strangely, a week later, two senators and several people in the media who had been calling for an investigation into the 9-11 attacks were mailed anthrax and told to shut up, apparently by members of Al-Qaeda, who later turned out to be a bioweapons researcher at U.S. Amrid in Fort Detrick, Maryland, named Stephen Hatfill, who had worked with Jerome Hauer for a company called SAIC, Scientific Applications International Corporation. Now, how did he know anthrax was going to become an issue? Well, as fate would have it, Hauer worked in 1999 with Stephen Hatfill, the prime suspect in the anthrax attacks at the Scientific Applications International Corporation, the SAIC. This company, the SAIC, was awarded a huge biodefense contract after 9-11. Hatfield, a well-known friend of Jerome Howard, was working on the military-grade anthrax program at U.S. Amrit, Fort Detrick, Maryland. <laughs> 